Okay. Uh, hi, we are team for Word from Collegio Nuovo of Pavia. I'm Gloria and my colleagues are Chiara, Sofia and Elisa. I'm not going to tell you what now means now, but how it will be seen. We think that client experience should be an exciting trip organized by the best agency on earth. A so beautiful journey of which we never get enough. And the final purchase becomes a way to tell everyone about his unbelievable, unbelievable experience. The sold product is a souvenir, and the user becomes, in this way, your witness, and he is proud of it. Well, this is our trip, this is our story. The first thing we want to impart is art. We decide to set our entire story in ancient Greece, primarily to give Naomi a strong geographical connotation. Secondly, because ancient Greece is traditionally associated with classical beauty, a time of rebirth and splendor, a time of artistic liberation. All Greek artworks are a work of a long process of creation by artists, and this is exactly what Naomi does. From the blanket of the refugee camps, the product bear witness to hope and rebirth. The fundamental message is, our clothes are art, and anyone who wears them carry a message and a story. The story of our a reality that is alive and active, a reality called Naomi. Naomi's mission is to give to the refugees fair jobs and the possibility to get integrated into the social life as well as into the Greek labor market. Naomi garments are produced with the recycle and organic material. Not only the actually used blanket from Idome tell this story, but also the refugees manufacturing this blanket into products and clothes. For most people, the same between first fashion uh, can be confusing these days, as they offer a wide number of style, product, and textile. What can really make the difference is how clothes are produced, who makes them, and what impact they have on the environment. But big companies are not always transparent on their process, and fast fashion industries, with his low price and many products, can't be sustainable. Naomi permits to the customer to do a more sustainable shopping in many ways economically, socially, and environmentally. However, more important than anything else, the customer is not only buying a simple clothes, but a story of a rebirth of a person who got through a migration and he is creating a new beginning. Thanks to Naomi. Let's focus on the market where Naomi will operate. It's the sustainable fashion market, which is getting wider every year and a number of sustainable clothes sold grow, growth over 600, 508% between 2016 and 2018. The hashtag sustainable fashion is being used 6.4 million of times on Instagram in the last few years. Now my aim is to reach German, Greek and Italian market. Germany as is the leading country in Europe for sustainable items sold. Italy because has the faster growth and Greece for the high number of tourists, which are 30 million per year. There are two types of clients who represent Naomi's target. 28, 35 years old women that have a university education and a stable career, who are socially conscious and attached to their ethics. And 65 or more years old women who are retired, educated. The prototype of a middle-high class grandmother, Christian, active in the community. Naomi's strengths are the unique handmade competitive price items, the interest in ecologic and social issues using recycled, recycled organic materials. That, as we have seen, is the hot topic in the contemporary world. However, the website has a low attractive appearance, does not present the entire line of products, is not intuitive, and it doesn't got any commerce. The biggest opportunity for Naomi is the growing request of eco-friendly clothes, because even if there are many other companies on the market, it can, be it can be competitive with a wider use of social media. The real fleet is delivery high cost from Greece to foreign countries. For, the re for this reason, it's fundamental to pay attention to courier choice and all the other customer service, which can improve the buyer's experience. First step into the business plan has to be a clear division of competencies between the team. Naomi needs someone who handles social media and advertising, someone who take, care, who take care of production, who will organize and run the shop in Thessaloniki, and who will manage the website and the delivery. The first month will be a planning period, and then it comes the time to settle and organize, and the third month to open the business to the public. 
Brenda's Mark Hoffman, Hoffman has with Rebello and Quagga are already successful and know on the market and has been offered very accessible prices. Naomi has a very long way to reach these results. On the other hand, Zara, VS and Primark are big competitive brands with a wide range of products, but fast fashion company's target does not interfere at all with Naomi customer. Naomi is unique for the history behind every product and that given to refugees and the provenience of the textiles. Before starting to build our website, we analyzed the sites of the main competitors of Naomi and we found ourselves in front of two options. Creating a website whose aim is to persuade a user to donate by NGC compassion like Save the Children or to create an e-commerce to which customers can help people by buying their products. We chose the second one because we think that Naomi's trend lights in a story and products. In the old structure of the website, aims an inspiring user, not at causing compassion. Therefore, we decided to give particular relevance to the e-commerce, putting it also in the home page. We gave a wide space to the blog page containing the Rodeva Calisys diaries, through which the user can know in depth Nahum's projects and stories. We decided to use more photos than text, because we believe that photos speak by themselves, and Nahomi has powerful images. Nonetheless, we maintain all the text in Naomi's previous website, but we have chosen to rearrange them in order to increase the readability of the site and make it less heavy. The style of the site reflects the personas we chose. We think that most NGO websites choose colors that want to transmit a sense of urgency, like very saturated light blue or red, but we would like to transmit a peaceful and quiet environment with a relaxing and female tone. We would like that people associate Naomi with the concept of art and uniqueness, and for this reason, we have chosen unusual colors and phone. We all know that being mobile friendly is not enough. Luckily, Wix offers an intuitive and easy way to adapt the website to a small screen visualization. We opted for minimizing both header and footer to simplify navigation. We cut some not necessary content like page description and some images, not overfilling the screen. We divided each page with an SEO description, a title, and text optimizer for search engine. Title structure followed the hierarchy of the age. Our entire SEO strategy bases on three keywords that have been chosen to synthesize Naomi vision and mission. Moreover, we implemented a page for both shop and blog. After that, we tested site speed through the Google tools, obtaining quite satisfying results despite Wix is a proprietary tool, so source closed. Privacy is something that everyone cares about. And for this reason, we made the first draft of the privacy policy and terms and condition document that has to be reviewed by a lawyer. For secure transaction, we suggest PayPal service for its high reputation. We suggest Naomi to consider splitting the budget for the online presence in this way. 30% to a good graphic designer and photographer to enhance the quality of Naomi products. 30% to a web developer to keep the website fast, reachable and updated. 25% to a social media manager who plans promotional campaigns, file contents and strengthen Naomi online identity. Last, we suggest leaving the, leave the rest of the budget to pay the sponsorship. Google Analytics and Facebook ID are the best way to understand customer experience and perform a deep analysis of your target. These are people who love Naomi and will follow it on three fundamental platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Here, Naomi will have a showcase for products too. Last but not least, we highly recommend using MailChimp for Naomi newsletter campaigns with a frequency of two times per week. By working for Naomi, we grew fond of it and of its story, so we would like to give Naomi some last advice to take home. First, we know that you will be really excited to start with this new business, but be careful. It's better to think, to organize everything well, and then you'll be able to do your best. Second and most important, Naomi's story is beautiful, so create a strong brand identity, improve the readability of your site, and boost its speed in order to spread your story widely and rapidly and to allow everybody to read it. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for what. Okay, so now we are going to proceed with the question and answer and feedback round, uh, beginning as always with uh, Alessandro Signorini. Please, Alessandro. Okay, so I would like to, to, to congratulate this group because I found uh, uh, the market strategy very robust, I mean, very well organized, uh, and I really enjoy the survey as well. Uh, my question would be about, uh, uh, to, to Chiara in particular, I think that, that, that talk about this. You said that the primary segment is 28 to 35 years old, and then you jump to the 65. 
However, in my opinion, the most interesting uh, primary segment for your, uh, uh, let's say, for the Naomi product would be the 3545. So, you know, I see a sort of, uh, you know, the, 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 in my opinion, you, you are missing uh, a very important opportunity uh, in this uh, slightly older market that is very sensitive about sustainable clothing, refugees, so on and so forth. Most NGOs and most nonprofit organizations appeal to this market. And you jump directly to the 65, five years older. Now, another advice would be don't say 65 years onward because you can include also people that are 90, 95. So I would uh, say 60, 70, 75. However, in my opinion, really, the, the only, the only uh, problem that I see in, uh, in your market strategy. Uh, is really this idea of uh, a primary market that, in my opinion, should be slightly older and should include uh, a very important part of the, of, the, of, the, let's say, of the population that is very interested in non-profit issues. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically, we look at uh, the first thing that we did is look at um, Naomi Facebook page um, that is very active. It's not that big, but it's very active and it's followed especially from, pe from people who are retired, uh, so more than <laughs> 65 years old. So it's for this. And then we took the survey and we look at some sites on internet. Uh, basically, we found out, uh, we, we also told that people between, uh, women between 28 and 35 are more active on social media. So it would be easier to reach. Um, and the survey, survey that we took is basically that people that are, are around tor tortish are, um, are more likely to spend more on, uh, on clothes on a, on a monthly base, like more often. So basically, we we did we had that that idea that um, the first segment uh, will buy uh, probably more times, but spend less every time. And people um, after 65 years old, so, so the second segment will buy um, not so often, but will spend more. No, Chiara, I, I agree with you, um, uh, probably the, you know, 65 years older because of the four churches that are involved. But if you want to do e-commerce, I don't know if the 65 years old people would be uh, very old, you know, the 75 old granny would go on e-commerce. So I, I, I understand everything, you know, it's very, everything is, uh, is uh, well-based uh, and I understand the arguments. But I tell you, in, in, in my opinion, the, the, I, I don't believe the 28 to 35 is perfect. I believe that you are very right. But I, I'm a bit more skeptical about the, the older segment. That is my only comment. In any oh. case, you know, your arguments are uh, very okay. structured. Thank you. No worries. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, next one is uh, Mr. Nicola Tarcinelli. Uh, do you have any questions, comments, uh, Nicola? Yes. No, I think it is, uh, the, I really enjoyed the presentation. Just one comment on the business plan. Uh, um, I would expect to, to see a, an Excel summary at the beginning. So in order to understand what um, I was about to read uh, in the business plan. But for the rest, uh, is, uh, I think it's fine. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, next one is uh, Mr. Ulrich Gensch. Ulrich, please. Yeah. Thank you. I very much enjoyed your presentation. I liked your SWOT analysis and um, the way you, uh, you organized the first month to go to market. I liked very much that you pointed out the uniqueness of Naomi and your annotations to the website uh, are very clear. Especially I liked that you uh, went mobile first, which is very important uh, in my opinion. Uh, I doubt uh, if Zara and Primark uh, are even indirect competitors. I think uh, to Naomi there are no competitors at all because Naomi um, has to go to a very different market than Zara and Primark uh, are doing. And um, I don't share, uh, as, um, uh, as uh, Professor Signorini pointed out, I don't share your opinion that you can really omit the Middle Ages. Um, that's the same uh, annotation I make um, 
that you jump from the very young ones to the very older ones. I think uh, the middle ages are those people who have the money to buy and uh, they are very conscious and aware of um, sustainability. So I think um, this, is, this is a, pr a group of persons uh, that are very important for you. Everything else I enjoyed very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, next one is uh, Lorenzo Ricciardi, Celsi. Yeah, um, I noticed too the, um, um, that you um, didn't mention uh, the, um, um, you didn't target the middle-aged uh, people, but apart from that, I want to congratulate uh, uh, with you for both the business plan and the presentation. So thank you, and there are no further remarks. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, now we are going with Helge. Uh, please, Helge. Also from my side, uh, congratulations, guys, to the inspiring presentation. Uh, really enjoyed it uh, very much, uh, especially uh, what has been said before. Uh, mobile first, really important for a website. As someone who participated in a website relaunch, I know how it annoying it can be if mobile first is not uh, thought from the start so congratulations on this uh, on this page um, uh, I just can echo uh, what uh, Nicola has said uh, when I read your uh, business plan I missed a bit the, the, um, the ex executive summary uh, except that I'm, I'm super fine maybe just a minor question um, because you said you want to rename the line um, in, in your in your uh, business plan, what would be the advantage that you consider in doing so? Because you uh, pointed out that Naomi has a really strong story, remembering Idomeni and all that stuff. What would be uh, the advantage you see in renaming it? Uh, we thought there's something more evocative, uh, like saying Idomeni is not, um, on the survey that we took, uh, we've seen that it's not evocative to um, the majority of the people. Um, so probably, I don't know, something more appealing for the public. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you very much. And uh, now we are going for the website uh, Euros. Uh, first, Maria Giulia Balotti. Maria Giulia. So the website includes all the relevant, uh, relevant information, so it's very well detailed and with a good organization of content. And also the memorandum is very, very exhaustive, so thanks for that. <laughs> um, very appreciated also the choice of the pictures and the video in the homepage. And in my opinion, it's the website that best matches the story of Naomi with the promotion of the fashion activity, its fashion activity. Um, however, it's not um, very simplified in terms of clicks. So to understand what Naomi really does and what they do, you have to search a bit and click in minimum three other pages. So, and also some pages are a bit, you, you said it in the presentation actually, the fact that you didn't want to write so much, but there are pages as Remember Idomeni, which is only with pictures. And so people that don't know anything about Naomi cannot know what is Remember Idomeni. Um, this is why I was wondering um, why you missed some, some text. But, uh, um, and also in the home page, it's true that you focus on the e-shop, but we are missing some other information about Naomi. But we saw that the, the problem of the home page was the same for, the whole, the, the, for, the, for all the groups. So um, I think that uh, it's something that has to be developed somehow. And also, last thing uh, about the choice of the colors and the video um, with the references to the ancient Greek, maybe um, it can be explained somewhere. Because, the, in my opinion, the colors are very original, but don't convince me and don't reflect um, very much Naomi. So, probably if you can explain it uh, somewhere, also in the website, it can help a bit. I would have chosen stronger colors, uh, but. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a choice again. So congrats again. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Maria Giulia. Uh, so last uh, judge is uh, Georgia. 
Ah, me dio. Georgia? And my oh no, no. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um so congratulations congratulations also from my side. Um it's quite concrete and I actually spend more time uh, than I expected to, to spend. There was this issue with a with a multiple clicks, but you gained you you made you kept me as a user. I mean, you put me in the in the situation that I wanted to do more clicks in order to see what we're talking about, and this has to do with some kind of essence. It is not. It doesn't have to do with design. It doesn't have to do with content. It has to do with what what you manage to do as an aesthetic. Um, with the, for, uh, regarding the colors, I agree with uh, Maria Julia that they, that there are a little bit soft. They, they are safe and classic, but yes, um, you can think about it. Uh, apart from that, I believe that it fits. I mean, with with extra work and some some changes and um, updates, it fits for the work of Naomi. My only um, remark would be that in the about us page in the vision. The first image that we see is a, of a, is a very, very sad image of a child crying. And in terms of psychological pressure, I would not choose to put such a, let's say, uh, there is an issue with charity that sometimes it, it feels like as if people are making money out of uh, out of uh, human pain. So my my feedback would be that uh, maybe it is in the about us in the vision. Okay. Okay. Again, for the pop-up windows, as I said to the other teams, there is this issue. Uh, okay. And about, about us in the vision. Yeah, uh, in the vision we have chose uh, this, chosen this photo because uh, it was really powerful. Uh, we know that uh, maybe it can be really uh, psychologically hard, maybe, but it's really ca it really catches the attention of the of the user. So uh, with a photo, the user know immediately what Naomi is doing because it's really in the home page we gave relevance to the e-commerce but uh, clicking on uh, about us on the vision you uh, understand immediately what the the company what the NGO is uh, is doing is actually doing for people and not only relating to clothes so it's really powerful and we chose it for this uh, for this reason. I, I agree on that it is powerful, but still, um, it is a little bit what sometimes people do in the news that uh, uh, they present some really bad news and then they present you good ones so that you balance your uh, psychological state and you feel fine, fine about yourself. So it is a little bit, I mean, again, it's a choice, but my feedback would be to notice this kind of, of, uh, of tools that you use. and where you want to use it, when you want to use it, what is their effect, the actual effect. So, because yes, anyway, you have, uh, you could have even more pictures that could, uh, could lead to the, to the result you would like uh, uh, without going through this, uh, this uh, psychological pressure, in my, in my opinion. But apart from that, I'm, I'm totally covered with this work. So yes, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Um